This morning in the Roadshow Kitchen, our favorite chef, Nick Raybar, is here from Avenue N in the pantry. If you haven't checked them out yet, I don't know what you're waiting for because it's a great place and a little something for everyone. Avenue N, a little sit, something relax, for everyone. Yes. Enjoy yes. the pantry, grab and go. Yes. Whatever you need. And Merry Christmas, by the way. Merry Christmas. And this is about the best gift I could have gotten because you and I haven't been in a kitchen together. In a really long time. Forever. Forever. That's the present. So no I'll take it. No need to cook today. Nope, nope, we're, we're, we're just good. Out. But if you are cooking, yes. see how we just transition like that? We mm -hmm. can make this beautiful. Uh, this is a charred broccoli and cheese dip. Ooh, Interesting, yes. I love a good dip. Well, I love I love a good dip and mm -hmm. I love broccoli so much. Mm -hmm. It's like the nutritional values of broccoli. It's like superfood yes. number one. They say you can eat it every day. Loaded with antioxidants, vitamin C, vitamin K, high fiber, good for digestion, good for everything. Yeah. Um, and for those that don't love broccoli, yes. I figured out the secret to make you love broccoli. It's called add cheese, okay? Okay. So it's pretty good. It's going to be really, really yummy. So we have two types of broccoli. We have yeah. traditional broccoli and we have broccoli rabe also. Mm -hmm. So broccoli rabe it has like a nice, adds a nice bitter note to this. Yeah. It's it really fabulous. Fancier. It looks real fancy. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take these things, stem and all, and mm -hmm. we're going to put it in the oven, a little olive oil and salt, and we're going to roast, roast it up so it. it turns. And by keeping it large like that, mm -hmm. it will be tender in the middle, but it will get all these little like little black tips. Yeah. So it's going to add a, char. a nice char flavor, okay. a real what nice char flavor. What kind of cheese do you suggest? So I'm going to do provolone cheese. Mm. That simple. You don't need five different cheeses to really make this. If yeah. you want to use provolone, it has that that great um, little cheese odor to it. it. It's like a gooey cheese, too. Yeah, and you so have it melts it in your well. fridge right now, so you don't even have to go out to the grocery store on a day like today. Just That's the best part of something like this. Is it's mm -hmm. a great little Christmas uh, dip, yep. a nice little side dish, even if you just want to serve it inside. We're going to serve it with some uh, warm grilled flour tortillas, too. Oh, I was going like to ask, yeah. what are we dipping into it? Yes, okay. so just yeah. sort of like really fun and festive, and you yeah. can put it out. We're going to take the tortillas and grill them so they get little, little dots mm -hmm. on them and really add a ton of flavor, and you can just take them, tear it apart, Warm, oh my gosh, fill it with a little so cheese. Good. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. There's something about a, a day like today that I just love. You're just picking on everything. Yes. So a lot of like dips and yes. picky appetizers. This is going to be perfect. Yes, especially because right. most people are worn out from all the Christmas season. And yeah. who has time to cook something light like this? Easy and fun. This is easy yep. and delicious too. We'll yep. get cooking in a bit. Two for two. Well, let me tell you, we are so happy that Nick Raybar is here <laughs> this morning on this Christmas morning. He's like, he's our own Santa. He's whipping Saint up. Nick. Saying yes, he's Saint Nick. Saint he's, Nick. He's our own Saint Nick. I'm off to something. Well, what you got going on? All right, so this is so great. This broccoli and cheese dip is just Ooh, unbelievable. Sounds good. Um, so we had the two types of broccoli, and I've actually got them in the oven right now. Okay. So they should be done in just a minute or so, but you can see how I kind of left them on the large cut side, and yep. they're charring up real nice. Those are going to get soft. We're going to give those about another five minutes. They've probably been in there for about 20 right now. Got it. Um, in the pan, we're sauteing onions and garlic, mm -hmm. and we're going to hit it up with a little pinch of salt, okay? Mm -hmm. And give that a mix. And then what we're going to do is I've got the cream kind of warming up over here. But we're going to go into this with that, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Save a little time by pre-warming the cream. And now we're going to let that reduce. Okay, now. Got it. The key is with heavy cream, and I try, I probably said this tip many, many times. You've got to let the cream reduce. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Because otherwise, it'll, will it curdle? It will curdle, it'll or curdle. it just won't kind of, it won't like embrace right. the cheese. People think the cheese thickens it. It does. Right. But you need that cream to reduce you a little bit. You need to embrace the cheese. And then it hugs it. It gives it like a nice, yes. gives a it a nice soft, a warm, a a warm, 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 nice soft a warm embrace. Christmas hug. Kind of like what we're doing here, Will. <laughs> and so, is this a great dish? For, I know that it's last minute, it's Christmas Day, you know, but if you're already exhausted and you don't have a lot of time, you have any of these ingredients in your right. fridge, a lot of different things will work with this. The point is, is that you're getting a ton of great uh, nutrients from the broccoli. I love broccoli. I do too. Yeah, and I'm I love really, dips. I could eat broccoli all the time. I, I, it's one of those vegetables sure. that you could and should eat every single day. Right, right. Um, so, and what we're going to do with them, Will, is I've got this pan here as well, is we're going to start warming up some tortillas, all right? Okay. The fun of doing it this way is that this is almost like, if you don't have tortillas, you, you know, Soft tortillas, I like guess. Yes. You can use, um, you know, hard tortillas or whatever you want for the dip. Crackers okay. would work great. Anything would work uh, great. Okay, oh. so he's going to uh, warm those up. We will put that together, and then we are going to give this a try on this Christmas morn. Merry back Christmas. Day. Merry Christmas. Whoa, whoa, yes. whoa, whoa. Stand back. Stand back. We're in the Roadshow Kitchen on this Christmas morning with our own St. Nick. Hi. Hey. Ray Bar's here. Avenue N is the, uh, is the restaurant. Yes. We've got tortillas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Christmas. guys. Do Thank you, you we so much. We were talking about um, Christmas traditions. Do you have one that you look forward to every yes. year with your family? Yes, my nap. 
Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's it's my Christmas one. tradition. I'll tell you why. The restaurants open almost every day of the year. Mm -hmm. The days that it's not are um, Fourth of July, okay. which we do a company softball yeah, game. Which is Thanksgiving, sweet. which we generally cook at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. So Christmas is the one day of the year that I don't have to worry about a single Good. thing. The doors are locked. Are you like ordering good. pizza every no. day like today? I don't or? know. No, you know what? We, it's kind of like a scrum for us okay. on Christmas. Sure. Because we always have like uh, family and friends over on Christmas Eve, mm -hmm. yep. and then Christmas Day. It's like all the energy goes into that, and once we get past breakfast, it's like we're lost. Yeah. You know, we don't know what to do. That's all right. Yeah. Take a nap. You, you, take a nap. So I, I'm a big fire person, uh, and I love lighting fires, and I love mm -hmm. that afternoon when the kids are all playing with their new stuff yep. and relaxing, and then I don't have to stress, and I just relax. Yeah. Perfect. I relax. That's my that's my tradition. Yeah. Might sound selfish, one. but it's my that's tradition. A good one. All right. So listen. Let's recap what's happening here. Okay. All right. In this beautiful pan, we sautéed the onions and the garlic. Mm -hmm. We put in the uh, cream. And we reduced it, and then we put in provolone cheese and a touch of Parmesan. Great. The broccoli awesome. is three, basically three types of broccoli. Mm -hmm. Well, it's the main, it's the crowns, yep. and then it's the stem. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge proponent of use the stems. Yeah. For everything. I, I eat those all the time, yeah. And then the broccoli rob, right. which is here, which is nice. Oh, it I has the leaves rub. and everything. Mm. So over here, we are toasting up some of these little tortillas to serve with it. So um, I'm going to use my hands, and I'm just going to kind of take these out and just give them a little, a little fold. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Just warming them up there. Just warming them up. Compliable. Okay, warming them up. Right, exactly. You, you really need to do that with tortillas. Yeah. Um, if not, they're going to tear so easily. Correct, correct. So those are very, very nice. All right, okay. so let's take those. And well, let's do a little cleanup over here, okay? Well, you want to get we, stuff yeah, let's get okay. it out of the way. I put Move cumin in there. Do you need this plate for Nope, we're no. good with okay. everything. Right. I put cumin in there, and I put um, paprika in there, and I put fresh oregano in there as well. Mm. And now we'll move all this out of the way, Will. Mm -hmm. And Mick, I'm going to grab this plate. Yeah, it's very, very it sounds subtle. War, it sounds like a warm, like warm flavors. Very much so. Very much so. We have right, this. You know get out, get All right. Well, I'm going to go that way you now. So you tuck it in, Will. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Like right. the let's say it's ready. Let's say it's ready. Okay. okay? I'm going to grab another towel well, here. When you say ready, I mean you could eat it right out of the you pan. You sure right? could. It's all cooked. You're just looking to get that extra little. Uh, yeah. This didn't proceed. quite get perfect, but it's. You can see the point. Is that we're still going to eat it? Yes. We're still going to eat it. And so we have. You can see some golden brown there. Yep. A touch of golden brown, and I made an extra one just for all the hungry troopers here on Christmas morning. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's basically now. I want you guys. It's going to be hot, but I do want okay. you to get to work on it, Will. All right. Okay. Yes. So Mick, get over there with him and all right. see so here. Take grab the tortilla and tear it up and pass right. it, pass it along with your your, your family and friends. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, and your spoons Top. in the drawers. You know, and you can either dip it right. or I'm going to kind of like fold yeah. it up and. Dip it, mm -hmm. get it in there. Well, isn't that the fun Broccoli of it? And is that it's unique, oh, yeah. you know, it's a unique uh, preparation here. Right. And it's also a unique little way of serving it. So oh, it, isn't that tasty? Mm -hmm. You know, and it's the simplest little thing. Mm -hmm. It's the simplest little thing. And sometimes, yeah. you know, it's like I get that it's cream and cheese. I'm not a fool. But as far as like you're still putting a ton of nutrients in your body. Oh, that is delicious. Garlic in there, yep. all that different types of broccoli. Yep. You know, oh, yeah. you can use whole wheat tortillas if oh, you're. I love if, this. So it's fun and it's simple, and that can be a meal all to itself right there. Sounds good to me. Yeah. All right, we're going to enjoy this. Merry Christmas again. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas so everyone. Much. Thank you. Enjoy this at home today. Get the recipe at roadshow.com.